Washington. Jeff goes, I got an idea. Yeah. But you just buy stuff here with a click of a mouse and we'll see if anybody is going to follow along in our footsteps. And it's changed people's lives. Forever. We, we still say shop local folks. There's a lot of great stores out there, but if you need it, I guess it's an easy way to do it. There Click and done. Go. It is 930 right now. Welcome back to the program and welcome back Ruth Comer. How are you? Thank you. Great. Good to see you, of course, from the Greater Des Moines YMCA. That's right. And we want to remind everybody of the great things that are happening during the summer with the YMCA. That's and right. I think people forget about how many wonderful branches uh, you have of the YMCA. So we kind of wanted to break it down so everybody kind of knows where they're located right. and what's going on. Okay, sure. The official name is the YMCA of Greater Des Moines. Right. Okay. It's an association of YMCA branches. Okay. Um, so we have 10 facilities total. We have eight what we call full facility wise, and that's okay. what people think of as the Y, the gym where you go okay, work so out or swim. What's, what's yeah. home base? Um, well, uh, all eight of them um, are in a four county area. Uh, the Wellmark Y downtown uh, it was the old Riverfront Y mm -hmm. um, at Fifth and Grand. Uh, we have the John R. Grubb Y um, in the Riverbend neighborhood at 11th and College. Uh, we have an Ankeny YMCA um, next to the middle school there in Ankeny, um, South Suburban YMCA on Army Post Road. Uh, we have the Walnut Creek YMCA right off uh, I-235 on 73rd Street in Windsor Heights. Okay. Uh, the Waukee Family Y uh, out in Waukee. Then we have a YMCA in Boone, mm -hmm. um, Boone County YM that's part of our association. And then finally the Indianola YMCA is part of our association. Uh, then we have Y Camp up in Boone and we have the supportive housing campus here in Des Moines. So 10 facilities that are all part of the YMCA of Greater Des Moines. Yeah. Unbelievable, and I, I am impressed. You didn't look down once to <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> any of those. I've been to all of them, and they're all um, unique in their own way, but yet all united. Okay, let's let's talk about sure. each one then. Sure. Let's talk about the first one you mentioned, the Wellmark YMCA. That's right. Um, that's the downtown Y. It's the old Polk County Convention Complex, all right. which it, it's been there now for about two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And people still say, oh, I thought that was the convention complex. And we say, oh, it used to be, but now it's the... It's the Wellmark YMCA. Yeah. Um, that's where we're building the new pool that's under construction. So let's talk about that. How's that yeah. going? Great. Um, right on schedule uh, to open in March of 2018. Uh, will be an Olympic-sized pool, largest pool in the metro area. Uh, and so we're really excited to get that back online for our members and for the entire community as well. Right. Now, how has the, the Y gone over in that location since you, you kind of shifted gears and, and moved down the street, so to speak? Well, it's really grown. Anybody who used to belong to the old Riverfront YMCA um, knows that uh, facilities were pretty tight there and pretty old. Um, so now we have a very large YMCA. It's one of the largest in the country now, a square footage wise. Really? And, nice. and the, uh, membership has grown, but of course we always have room for more members. What do people like about that particular YMCA more than anything else? Um, they really like the convenience of mm -hmm. being downtown on the Skywalk. Also, they um, validate parking so you can park downtown for a really small charge if you're worried about, oh, the, I don't want to go downtown to the Y because there's nowhere to park. I didn't realize right. that. Yeah, right across the street there's a garage connected mm -hmm. by Skywalk to the Y and for just a dollar you can park there for a couple hours. and. Um, work out at the Y. So we have um, people coming in on their lunch hour. They open at 4.30, so we've got people there at 4.30 wow. when we open in the morning, open wow. till 10 o'clock at night. So it's really convenient, and for the growing number of people who live downtown. I'd say the people that live downtown mm -hmm. have to love that, too. Right, right. Yeah, very convenient. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd say the number one thing is convenience, but of course that mm -hmm. big pool that everyone's getting excited right. for. So on track, and yeah. we'll give you more details on that uh, right. coming up very, very soon. All right, so let's move on to the John R. Grubb uh, YMCA. Ooh, right. We've talked about doing wonderful community events. Right. Many, many um, it really is the heart of the Riverbend community. Um, we just finished our Fathers and Families Cookout. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Local 5 and KCWI were um, very good to support that um, effort. It was a lot of fun. Um, they're also now doing uh, Starfish Academy is what we call our program. It's uh, at three school sites in Des Moines and it's summer learning for kids who are at risk of maybe falling behind mm -hmm. during the summer and their skills kind of eroding. This keeps them right on track, keeps them on grade level ready to go to the next grade and, and um, Des Moines was real, n recently nationally recognized for its uh, childhood uh, achievement summer learning efforts and and this program was a big part of that. Yeah, because people don't realize an idle mind does have a tendency to not remember as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so we've actually taken kids who are at risk of, of falling behind from where they are and they've actually gained reading um, and math skills during the summer uh, and actually come to school even better prepared than they were in May 
to, to learn again in the fall. And what a great feeling that is for people that had, have ever had an opportunity to do that because you come back just all revitalized and charged and raring to go. Yeah. Well, it's wonderful to hear about these community programs. Because yeah. uh, let's face it, when you think YMCA, it's like, okay, that's my gym. Right. That's where I go work out. Uh, but there's so much, much more that the Y does yeah, for our communities. Yeah, um, we, are, we are indeed um, in, up in Ankeny. I know they're getting ready to start some new classes, um, premium classes. They have all new cardio equipment uh, that they've just put in there, a bunch of new treadmills and, and other machines. Um, at our South uh, YMCA, they're um, really the center of that South community and, and what they're doing there with a community garden, uh, community orchard. Now, where's that one located, the South um, It's on Army Post Road um, near the Fort Des Moines facility. Okay. okay. Uh, and so they, are really involved in the community in terms of walkability mm -hmm. um, and bikeability. So working with to get more safe walking paths, safe biking paths for families, uh, and then the class, just you know, all the classes, the swim lessons, everything else that the Y offers. But a lot for that um, Southside community as well. Okay, love well, it. Let's yeah, come back over to this side of town. All right. we have the YMCA that's not too far from the Walmart or Sam's Club. That's right. Okay. On, on, um, in Windsor Heights, um, the Walnut Creek Y. That's where our Girls on the Run program is centered. Um, we just finished a great year of Girls on the Run record participation record schools, and so it's time to register again already wow. for the fall semester of Girls on the Run. Um, and remind everybody what that's all about. Girls on the Run is for girls in third through eighth grades, uh, and it's a curriculum that uses running uh, in its lessons, but it's about so much more than running. It's about girls learning to feel empowered, to set goals, to get along better with their peers and their families. Um, to avoid peer pressure and some of the negative messages that girls in our society can get about body image and, and popularity and things like that. Uh, and it gives them confidence to, you know, be themselves and, and to see what they can achieve and uses running as a way to underscore all those lessons. And it all culminates to a, a run at the end of... A 5K run, Yeah, right? 5K run where you can cheer them on and you can just meet some of these incredible mm -hmm. ladies which we have on our program. They're right. absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head out west. Okay, in the Waukee Y, something exciting um, that's kind of a first for us. Uh, next Saturday, July 15th, Waukee Y in conjunction with Shields is sponsoring a pickleball tournament. Pickleball. Do you guys know pickleball? Oh, we, uh, the pickleball is we, we always talk about with the Iowa games. They play pickleball. Yes, they do. Pickleball. Okay, explain pickleball. It's, it's one of those means. It, it, yeah, it's, it's this. this. Yes, no, you do no. this. <laughs> uh, it's one of the fastest growing sports. Actually, it's think of it kind of as playing um, ping pong on a tennis court, maybe, or on a small court. Oh, okay. But you use you use a paddle and a wiffle ball. And, but you can play inside on a gym floor, um, you can play outside on a tennis court, and um, with older people especially, um, it's really popular in Arizona and Florida and a lot of retirement really? areas, yeah, that uh, you play doubles usually. It's not as much court to cover. You know, the ball doesn't, the ball move, doesn't fast. move fast. Yeah, yeah. like it, a tennis ball. It slows it down. It's slow. I like mm -hmm. this. <laughs> and, and you use kind of a, a paddle kind of thing, sort of like a, a ping, pong ping pong paddle to hit it. So it's kind not of. Not quite a tennis racket, no, but no, not, it's not a ping it's pong. It's not tennis, it's not ping pong, um, but it's a fun way for people. And, and it's not just older people now that are playing it. Um, there are even like leagues and. Um, professionals and I think Shields is, is associated with some of those folks and so we're having our first ever tournament and you can still get in if you want to enter. There you go. Oh, yeah. I love it. July 15th. That's Pickleball. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. And then we head up north. Um, up north to Boone. Mm -hmm. um, that's a great Y, really um, smaller. Where's that one located at? It's on Carroll Street. It's a former um, health care center in Boone now mm -hmm. that's been converted to a Y. If you go, uh, I get my directions all confused, I forgive me. So if you go down Main and then you go south a little bit, it's right there, mm -hmm. you can't miss it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, they have a great community there. Uh, they have p monthly potlucks um, for people that just come because they come and exercise every day with their friends and then once a month they have a potluck. The last time I was there, was there was a basket of fresh um, produce from someone's garden that they just nice. brought in and said, here, take it, share. And, and that's just kind of the community um, feeling that mm -hmm. they have there. So if you're anywhere close to that community, you can be part of the why. 
Mine. at Boone. Well, as you've mentioned with all of the locations you've listed so far, mm -hmm. it really does become part of the community. If you're Absolutely. in the community, you know about the why and everyone kind of comes together as a, a team or a community and really gives back. Yeah, that's that's our goal is strengthening community and so doing that through making people more physically fit, but also, you know, the, the intellectual, the emotional, um, the spiritual part of well-being, we're all about making that better in the community too. Um, one thing I also wanted to mention at our Indianola why this Friday night they're having a camp out, a family camp out inside the Y. So they're saying no bugs, air conditioning. Right, that's uh, the kind of camping you like. Um, yeah. You want to take the family camping, but you want to do it in a little more comfort. Right. Um, come to the Y Friday night. They're calling it some more fun at the Y. Of course, get it. Some more mm -hmm. fun, yeah. And uh, they'll be just having games, family activities, swimming. Uh, bring your sleeping bag, sleep in the in the gym, or in, you know, at, at the Y, and have breakfast the next morning. So, yeah, indoor camping with your family, and those are just the kind of ideas that our folks come up with at the Y to build their community and and build stronger families. Okay, what what if you want real camping? Real camping, you go to Y Camp okay. <laughs> up, up near Boone. Um, it's in its 98th year of Y Camp. Really? Um, almost completely sold out. There might be a, a bed here or there, but um, it's almost completely sold out for the summer. Horseback riding, climbing walls, doing obstacle courses, doing a zip line course, um, swimming, uh, you know, all the things you think about doing at camp. Um, and going on at Y Camp right now. Yeah, Love fun. it. Uh, mm -hmm. If people are hearing about this, and I know we have regular segments talking about sure. the great work that you do, but they're like, you know what? I really just need to check out my local why. Is there an opportunity to do that uh, without having to become a member right away? Absolutely. Um, you can go to our website. Okay. It's dmymca.org, and there's a place where you can sign up to say, I'd like a tour. Yeah. Or I'd like more information. You can pick your branch. Um, you can go to multiple branches if you want and look at them. When you are a member of the Y, you can use any of these branches that we talked about, but most people kind of have a home branch right. that they go to the most. But if there's something else at a different branch that you're interested in, or you work one place, or maybe somebody in the family works one place, somebody works another place, right. you can use all those facilities. You can take a tour of any of them. Um, they'll give you a day pass um, to come in, work out, take classes. Um, and just see if the why is for you. Yeah. Wonderful. How about that? So again, just getting a membership, it's like you have a membership at 10 different places. Right. Perfect. Right. Unbelievable. <laughs> and there's the website for you folks if you'd like more details. Ruth, thank you so much. Thank you, and guys. And we continue to uh, love seeing other people that you bring on, oh, other yeah. guests, uh, to talk about the wonderful work you're doing, not only of keeping us more physically fit, but also getting us more involved in our local communities. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you so much All for right. being here. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks. All right. It is 942 right now, and we will be right back. You're watching CW Iowa Live in West Des Moines.